join with the Prime Minister in congratulating the Honourable Justice Simon Stewart and the Honourable Justice Jacqueline Gleeson as the next two justices of the High Court of Australia. Um, I and the Cabinet are incredibly confident that both Justice Stewart and Justice Gleeson will make very worthy additions to the High Court bench. Uh, they're both outstanding judges. They have been outstanding barristers. They're outstanding members of the legal and broader Australian community. Just a very brief summary of the process that leads us to this point. The process uh, has been about six months and starts with a statutory requirement upon myself as Attorney General to consult with all of the state attorneys general. Behind the state-based consultation sits a whole range of state-based bar associations and law societies and a range of groups. Uh, those bodies are also consulted with by me on a Commonwealth level. Uh, as well as heads of jurisdiction across Australia. So it is an exhaustive and extensive process, and the two appointments have emerged from that very long and extensive process with uh, the legal community, I think, noting throughout their consultation that both uh, have absolutely impeccable records and skills for the High Court. Justice Stewart will commence on 1 December and replace the Honourable Justice Geoffrey Nettle AC who retires from the court at the end of next month. Uh, the appointment of Justice Stewart to the High Court continues what has been a remarkable, stellar, indeed, career for one of Australia's uh, leading legal professionals. Uh, it was noted when uh, he was um, brought into the federal court that he took silk in 2009, just 10 years out from law school, being the first person in his graduating, graduating class to do that. He was appointed in 2018 to the Federal Court of Australia, where he has demonstrated exemplary judicial skills and achieved wide recognition as a leading expert with specialty areas in taxation and administrative law. And I have no doubt that his years of experience, both at the bar and on the bench of the Federal Court, will provide um, invaluable um, skills for his new commission as a Justice of the High Court. With respect to Justice Gleeson, uh, Justice Gleeson <coughs> excuse me, will commence next year on 1 March, replacing the Honourable Virginia Bell AC, who will retire from the court on 28 February 2021. Justice Gleeson was appointed to the federal court in 2014. Uh, she's held in obvious and very high regard by all the members of the judiciary and the legal profession. She was appointed to the federal court following a diverse legal career, both at the bar and as a solicitor. And in fact, the diversity of Justice Gleeson's expertise across a number of civil jurisdictions in both public and private practice has served the federal court incredibly well and will no doubt be a major asset to the High Court going forward. Her appointment to the High Court represents yet another very significant achievement in an already distinguished career. Uh, I should note, and um, it's not really possible to appoint uh, Her Honour Justice Jacqueline Gleeson without noting um, that um, she is the eldest daughter of former High Court Chief Justice Murray Gleeson. Uh, that places her in a rather uh, unique position. I'm told that's a, a first in common law countries. I might just pause very briefly and say that I, I note that because it's notable. But looking through the CVs of both Justice uh, Stewart and Justice Gleeson, their families have played an enormous role. Uh, parents nurturing people, uh, partners and children supporting people through their career, and there's been a long history of broad family support for each of these two very fine judges to have been nurtured to the point where they can provide the sort of skills and impeccable track record that they bring to the public service on the High Court. I'd just like to close by taking the opportunity, of course, to thank the Honourable Justice Nettle and Justice Bell. Uh, in advance of their upcoming retirements for the remarkable service they've given the Australian people through the High Court.